Okay, we're back here with the Hauer 1500 Um I've just put this um, MDT M lock sling swivel stud on attachment so that I can put my Harris bipod on here for when we go out west in a month's time if we can get out there with all the rain that they've had because it's been raining quite badly out there again I believe it's been raining non-stop here um, I'm going to the range tomorrow I'm yet to check the calendar and see if they're actually doing anything out there tomorrow but I'm going out if I can if they don't have any like competition stuff on or anything just to check the zero on this now that I put the bipod on I highly doubt that it'll change to zero due to it being a um, aluminium chassis and I have to check those 308 rounds for the Morza M18 um, I've taken what I've already got loaded plus the test rounds I'm going to test the test rounds for group size and I'm going to test the rounds that I already had loaded just to make sure it's zeroed as well same with this, this has got to be checked for zero like I said earlier that's just this quick little update I'll probably do another one tomorrow and upload that as well. Uh, just going over the results of this. I'm pretty sure this is zeroed from what I remember. And I'm pretty sure I zeroed the 308 with those other rounds as well. But better to be safe and check. And then everything's all good to go. Won't have to go to the range again then before we go out west. Okay, so that's a quick little update. That MDT rail was pretty easy to put on. You basically just... Put the thread the the little um screws to the nut through the plate either side of the plate and then i just popped a bit of th blue thread locker on um tighten them all the way up make sure they line up the um, plates on the other side line up so it can slip through slide it forward loosen her off and then tighten them back up loosening it off lets the first plate drop down far enough um, that it can then turn inside this rail and rotate and grab the other side of the rail that was a good little trick that i got off youtube for setting that up so that was a piece of piss really we'll see how these go tomorrow hopefully they're all good okay i've got a 20 oh i got a 22 cal boar snake to take out with this thing um just the only reason i use boar snakes is when i clean the guns i oil the barrels or oil the bores technically speaking and then I use a bore snake to clean the oil out before I go shooting I don't actually use them for cleaning per se that's a little update for this I'll catch us in the next one tomorrow hopefully if there's nothing going on out the range and I can get out there it should be plenty wet out there though I believe see you in the next one